So I'm hoping I can inspire you guys to do this yourself. A cam jam, 160 pounds. As we say in Hawaiian, what's in the bag? I did put one up last season, 110 pounds. Check it out right there down below. You can look right down on the pond. Let me get my old butt out of the tree because. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy, the Hawaiian fish keeper. Now check it out. I did a video months ago, probably last year, on a DIY sunshade sail. Last time it was a triangle, this time it's a square. So we're gonna get into this. You gotta see how easy it is to put up. Matter of fact, we're gonna do it a different way from the other video. Now if you wanna check out that other previous video, I'll leave a link down in the description below. So if you want, click on that, check it out. This way here is gonna be a little bit easier. So I'll get into all the tools that you need. Real simple, if I can do it, you can do it. Trust me, okay? You're gonna really love this video, so stay tuned. Man, it is hot today, let me tell you. Let's go. So as you can see, it is a scorching hot, triple digit weather out here in Sacramento, California. Tiki Falls is on point. And guess what? You may be asking yourself right now, hey, Hawaiian fish keeper, what's in the bag? Well, watch. Ooh, boom, just like that. We have a 16 feet by 16 feet by 16 feet sunshade sail. This is a sunshade sail. It's gonna go up over the top of Tiki Falls all the way across. We're gonna hook it from the tree. We're gonna hook it from the ceiling or the roof, I should say, edging right there. And we are gonna make one big square to cover Tiki Falls, protect it from the sun, so the algae won't be so bad this summer. And not only that, they'll protect it from predators like cranes. Look at this, this is a nice little perch here at my neighbor's house. They can look right down on the pond, come in and swoop them. I did put one up last season, but it was only a triangle and it was 13 by 13 by 13 feet. Uh, this is a full-fledged square. I wanted to go a little bit bigger because we are gonna be extending Tiki Falls right there. So I want it to cover pretty much this whole area. And then whatever else it covers is just a bonus. All right, so if you take a look at each one of the ends is reinforced obviously uh, with the stitching, but it has one of these rings. We're gonna use these large screw eyes and we are going to screw them into the wall. As you can see, I have my measuring tape out over there and it's measured 16 feet from point A all the way to point B, way down there. So if you look at the maximum weight, it's 70 pounds. So I actually got a really good durable one. This four pack here was about four dollars and some change so this is what we're going to use and uh i don't even know what my hands are in sorry about that it smells like poop in here <laughs> all right let me go wipe my hands off but here we go so these things actually can be hand tightened you just get it into this two by four which i got and you can see there's a lot more threads so boom we're going to get our trusty screwdriver and actually use this as leverage and use this to torque in this I. Here we go. All right. So as you can see, that looks about right. It's down in there deep. It's right in the middle of this two by four here in the fence. Okay, hold on guys. We need to take a quick break and I got to give a huge shout out to my girl Riza all the way in Georgia. Big subscriber, big fan of the Hawaiian Fish Keeper and check out what she sent me. Ohana Kiwi and Strawberry Beverage. It's a non-carbonated beverage. It's, I guess it's a juice, I'm assuming. Never had it before. This might be like an East Coast thing because I've never seen this drink in any of the stores here in Northern California. So big shout out to Riza. Thanks girl, we're gonna pop one of these. Pretty sure I'm gonna be thirsty doing this DIY project for you guys. And check it out right there down below. Hawaiian for family. And I can't wait to get into one of these, but before we do, back to the project. Okay, next up are carabiner clips. Now this carabiner clip here, I actually had last season. You can see 130 pounds, all right? That's what it supports. I'm gonna go ahead and toss that one down. 
Now, I just recently bought these today, which are 160 pounds. Oh, wait a minute. Let's throw that on the ground because I didn't realize that this sunshade sale. Jesus, a tongue twister. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Shuns the sunshade sale came with carabiner clips already that are for 190 pounds. So it came with four carabiner clips. We're going to use these. So let's go over here to our eyes and clip them in. And we're going to put one down on the other side, down there. Boom. Man, it is hot. So I'm hoping I can inspire you guys to do this yourself. It's really easy to do. If you ever wanted to put up a sunshade cell, I mean, not over your pond, but it could be just be in your backyard, front yard, give you guys some shade. These things are really easy to do. So I saved you guys the drama, and I actually put, if you can see, a carabiner clip. So I just wrapped some paracord around the tree there, tied it in a square knot, um, and then cooked in that carabiner clip. I actually got some uh, really good paracord. Now the paracord I'm using is right here. It's 50 feet worth, more than what I need, but it's always good to have some extra paracord around, all right? So here's the brand. I got all of these items over at Ace Hardware. So if you guys have a local hardware store and you have nylon paracord, I got 110 pounds. Here in California, we don't have major winds, like I would say like Oklahoma or something like that. So this should be quite sufficient for what I need. All right, so as you can see, my ladder is going up to the corner of the house there where we are going to add another uh, screw eye right in there, a screw eye bolt right in there or eye screw bolt, whatever it's called. We're gonna put it probably there or there, I'm not sure. Uh, and then attach a carabiner clip to it too as well. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so your boy is high up in a ladder right now, which, uh, you know, it's kind of sketchy as you get older, you know what I'm saying? especially while holding the camera, it's super sketchy. So we're gonna go ahead and get this eye and actually bolt it right about, I would say right about here. All right, we went ahead and got a little drill here. Get this hole started, make it a lot easier. Go ahead and start to screw the eye in. That's as far as I can go in with my hand. So in the pocket, yes. We got the screwdriver for leverage. Right, I want it facing just like that. Perfect. Boom, there we go. Okay, so in my last video that I did a sunshade cell, I used a turnbuckle and a U-bolt. Uh, I believe this way is a lot cheaper, but not by much, okay? I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use in this video that's gonna separate this video from the last video that I did on putting up a sunshade cell. Boom, a cam jam. This is a cord tightener. This right here, I paid 26 bucks and some change um, on eBay for two of them, okay? So it's a little bit more than the turnbuckle slash U-bolt, but this is a lot more convenient and a lot more easier now as you can see the cam jam comes with eight feet of paracord already which is a really good paracord too I might I add but we're gonna use all black I'm not a big fan of this color even though it does match uh, the uh, sunshade cell but I'm just gonna go ahead and use solid black it's gonna be so much easier to take down when it comes to the colder season the cam jam all right let me show you guys how it works on the actual cam jam it says two millimeters to five millimeters. That is the size of paracord you can use. This paracord that I have here is this black one here is three millimeters. So I'm gonna show you guys how I hook this up. On the end of, or I should say one of the corners of the sunshade cell, we're gonna go ahead and just loop this through like so, okay? We're gonna stick the paracord through it like this. We're gonna pull it all the way through. A real simple loop knot, I guess you can call it, right? Just like that. Pull some tension on it. Mm -mm, it's not going anywhere. So then we're going to go all the way to the end of this paracord here. And this is how you hook up the cam jam, okay? So cam jam here, we hook it on to the carabiner. I'll put my finger there, okay? All you do is you put what? The other end. Put. Did I say put? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You put the other end of the paracord right through that hole and then you just pull it down it locks it right into place 
Now check it out, now you just pull it. And this is the other end, right? It just locks it into place. It is not going anywhere, the tension. And you keep pulling on this and keep pulling on it until it actually pulls the tension and the tarp on how tight you want it to be. And then once you pull it and it's at that max tightness that you want, that's it, really simple. Now you wanna take it off, let's say, um, you know, the winter season's come in, the sun is gone, it's not hot anymore. All you do is just pull it through. That's it, and it comes right out. And then you put it away for the winter, bring it back out for the summer. This is a seasonal thing for me, all right? So let's go ahead and put it up. I just wanted to show you the functionalities on how this mechanically works. So I hope that kind of made sense to you guys, all right? So we're gonna grab one end and clip it to our carabiner clip right here. Bam, just like that. So we got one end there. Now let's put the other end way up there. Here is our cam jam, oh jam. Anyways, I'm gonna pull this cord right here. This piece of cord is going to pull the tension and I wanna show you guys how this piece works, all right? So let's uh, take a bird's eye view so you can see what it looks like from above. All right, so there it is behind me, right? You can see it. Now I'm gonna pull the cord. Now watch the uh, sunshade sail pull. See that? You can see how it's rising up. And I'm gonna get it to the right tension. And then uh, we should be uh, a-okay. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like from the ground. So let me get my old butt out of the tree because I feel like I'm gonna fall and I'll see you guys back down on the floor. Hey, aloha guys, it is the next day. The reason why I picked up the camera and wanted a video today was because yesterday the sun was already like setting, so there was a lot of shade, so you couldn't really see the full effect on the coverage of the pond. So I picked up the camera today, it's about 11 o'clock, late morning, almost mid afternoon, and um, I wanted to give you guys the full effect of how the shade looks right around this time. I love the way it turned out, and uh, let me go ahead and turn this camera around to show you guys. Boom, there it is guys. As you can see, pretty much Tiki Falls is covered in shade. Now I know from this angle it looks like a triangle, but it's actually a square. So I wanted to show you the different level changes. And I also wanted to show you that you don't have to have like four posts of equal height to make this work, you know what I mean? It gives it a nice cool little look. So you can see the level changes, right? So you have the carabiner clips on the fence, one here and one down there. And then you can see it slanting upwards. And we have our paracord going across, hooked up to the corner of the house there and the other paracord is hooked up to that tree branch way over there as you can see here this is a different angle you can see our paracord now black right and then you can actually see our cam jam right there with our carabiner clips and then the eye screw right there into the uh, wood of the house real easy to make real easy to do and then you can see our other paracord. There you go. All the way up to our carabiner clip and cam jam. You don't have to worry about the turnbuckle, the U-bolt in my other video, which is a lot cheaper, but this is a lot easier and convenient. And you can see the shade line it goes all the way through. This is on the fence line, carabiner clip. You can see it all the way down to the other clip. You can get a really good sunshade sail for a pretty reasonable price. Obviously I went with the bigger one, 16 feet by 16 feet and a perfect square. So uh, just keep that in mind, okay? All the links for everything that I have will be down in the description below, okay? The uh, cam jam, the uh, sunshade sail, and um, uh, as far as the carabiner clips and all that, I got them at Ace Hardware. I'm sure you can find those at all your uh, local hardware stores or big box stores like Home Depot or Lowe's. So I'm under the sunshade sale right now. And if you haven't subscribed to the Hawaiian Fish Keeper, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Hit that notification bell, turn it on, okay? It's just gonna notify you when I put out a new video. Hopefully I can inspire you to put one of these bad boys up. Real simple to do. Don't forget to like, comment down below, tell me what you guys think. If you guys have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them on how to put this up. So simple. Other than that, hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys on the next video. Happy fish, happy life, 
Much love and aloha. Wow. Riza, as we say in Hawaiian, Okoli Maluna. <laughs> Hawaii hukia ela imanaya garani